I do it because it's, it's a tradition from Seba. When I was a boy, there used to live a man over there named Peter. And he used to blow when the ship was coming. And 83, I started blowing. So I started blowing, I got in trouble with the neighbors and so they called the police, the police came and all that. And I told him, no, it's my tradition, I'm going to stop blowing. He said, no, you have to stop blowing. You cannot blow anymore. I said, no, I'm going to blow. He said, I told you you're going to have to stop blowing. I said, no, I'm going to blow 6 o'clock in the morning. He said, why? I said, because I'm sure I'm not disturbing nobody. See, it makes me feel good to blow. Because I have 34 years blowing now. And I don't use my alarm clock no more. The body knows it. And I like doing it. I feel proud doing it. <laughs> Do you think if you stop blowing, everybody would miss it? Sure, they will miss it. They will miss it. A tradition, a tradition you will always miss. But actually, all of our traditions are going. Because as soon as you get, we have a lot of tourists here. We have a medical school. I work for the medical school. So the population of Seba is 750 people. A real Sabians that I can say. And we are here about... 16, 1700, all the foreigners and medical school and so. So the tradition is changing. So, so long as I can hold it, I'm going to hold my hand. <laughs>